Okay guys, just a quick little vid to show you um, how to hook up a smart audio. This is, the, this is the Nano VTX, but it'll work for any VTX with the smart audio wire when you don't have spare UARTs on the flight controller like this, um, this little 20 by 20 flight controller I'm using here. I'm using the camera control and it only has two UARTs. So there's nowhere to run the, the smart audio to a spare UART. Um, but even when I do have the spare UARTs, I'm finding this to be my preferred method. Just because it's easier to see, and I'll show you later. Sometimes um, when you're doing it on the OSD of the quad, um, you can't see the can't see it in the background because and then you end up having to move the quad so you have like a darker background so you can see the writing on the screen and whatever. So you take your smart audio wire from whatever VTX you're using and um, with your crossfire, right, the pin out of the crossfire, if we consider where the wires are at the bottom, the second, the first one is, is um, a TX3 or RX3, I don't remember, RX, TX, whatever, but the second one is four. So you're just going to run that smart audio wire to number four, the second one up. Uh, look like that one out of focus, but I think you guys can see it and understand what's going on there. Okay, so then we take our radio, and I'm using a Tango here, but it's the same with whatever radio. I think... Um, it's the same in a Lua script. So if you're using a um, using a Lua script on like a Tyrannus or whatever, it's going to be the same thing. So now we power this on, and when we go into our, you're going to go on the Lua script. It's going to be the same thing. It will be the devices, and then we go to the Nano. And you'll see that VTX is already listed on there. But what you do is you just go to, I think it's channel map. No, I'm sorry. It's going to go to output map. And, and under, when you go, when you hook it to four, you'll go to output map and go to output four. And when you select this, after you hook that wire up, it will automatically come up as smart audio, and this only works on four, it doesn't work on three. And that's the part that can be confusing a little bit. So you have to use the second one up, which is four. That's the only one it will work on. And then you just enable the smart audio on that channel, and you have output four as smart audio, and then your VTX is listed there. And then you can just go in here and change everything real easy, no matter what the background is. It's very easy to see. And like I said, it's the same thing um, on a Lua script. If you're using the Tyrannus, you can just do this through your screen. And I'm actually finding that this is um, my preferred method these days. Because it's just so much easier to see and deal with. So anyway, that's a quick little deal on how to do that, and that's that.